to stay in their muffin. All right, so here we are with the bucket. There we go. Okay, we have a little bit less. Because when, when we put the lid in, you don't want to be to the top because when you put the lid in, the water's going to rise a little bit. So let's take a little bit out. I've got just want you to see that you can live with limited water and still be efficient with raw meat. I know somebody asked that and I'm going to show you because I feed my dogs raw meat and when I travel in their camper, I'm handling raw meat all the time. So I'm going to give you my tips for handling raw meat when you have a little bit of water or you have to conserve water. So let me show you what I do. I don't use cutting boards at all for cutting raw meat. I only use a Corel plate. This is an old plate from a thrift store that I picked up. This is the actual Corel plates. So, and I have this little knife that's super, super sharp, and I use it to cut meat. It's a fillet knife, but I love, I love it. And it's easy to sharpen, so I cut the meat with that. So, let me show you what I do first. Never put your hands on the chicken. You always use a fork and a knife. So, here's my bag. All right here's my bag. I'm going to take out the meat with my fork and I'm going to take my other piece here. That's the other piece of chicken. This is raw chicken and this is what I'm going to do. The problem with a lot of those plastic cutting boards, they're going to leave like a little pieces of chicken on there because they're rough. But by using a plate like this, I got I to gotta sharpen this knife, but by using a, a, cut, uh, a plate that's super smooth like this, your it's going to be so much easier to clean this afterwards you can clean it here in the sink and then you can disinfect it with some vinegar afterwards so i still haven't gotten sick from this so you can see this is i'm just doing exactly what i do in my camper for my dogs muffin eats raw meat this is what i give her i mix it with a little bit of brown rice and i give her some veggies sometimes some apples mostly just carrots um broccoli sometimes i give her in there i give her squash um, zucchini, summer squash, sweet uh, sweet potato she loves and I love putting sweet potato in there. Sometimes they're sweet potatoes raw. Sometimes if I have sweet potato that I cooked left over I give it to her. So you can see I'm not touching this chicken at all. I don't have to touch the chicken because I'm using a fork. Okay so what I'm going to do is once I'm done cutting all this chicken and I'm ready to um, wash the utensils I'm going to wash all of my stuff first before I wash anything with chicken on it okay now two things you can do you can rinse this outside if you want to rinse the plate give it a little rinse outside I don't bother doing none of that because a lot of times I'm traveling and I'm at Walmart so I don't do things like that I just wait till it's the last thing so now I'm going to have water in that dish pan and I don't want to contaminate all my other stuff. So all my other stuff gets washed first. Anything with chicken on it, this fork, this fork and this knife gets put to the side and it gets washed last. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. All right, so this is, this is what I would do for my dog. I would just put it in their bowl with the brown rice or uh, sometimes I put oats in there. For Missy, I do chop it up a little smaller. But since we're not doing that, because they're already eight, because like there's no way I could feed her here while you're here, because she she'd be barking all the time, and you wouldn't hear me. So I'm gonna put it in this bag. It's, it's all cut up for tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna do is put this back in the bag. So now I'm gonna show you how to wash the dishes with limited water. All right, so here, you see that little piece cut away? I didn't have to touch it, and the bag gets closed. All right, so there is my plate. You're going to want to have dish pans to collect your water. Unless you're on property and you don't mind the gray water running out, you can just leave your gray water open and have it run out. For me, I don't want to have wetness under this RV. 
and moisture down there. So I rather just take a dish pan and just take it outside and throw it on the property wherever I want. So I'm going to wash here and I'm going to dry here. And this is the bottle that I use that I love to use is this bottle. You pump it like this and then it gives you a good spray so I can rinse off my dishes with this. Another thing that I like is I like these jars. These are about $4 at Walmart. These are glass and you can fill them up. And these are great because, um, number one, you can either put your drinking water in here if you want to. Cooking and you need to wet your hands for whatever, it's great. You can put filtered water in there. It's also great for cooking if you needed water for pasta, water for anything. It's good to have this. These are glass jars for about 4 bucks. I love it having it here. Um, but try to put water that's filtered in here because you can use it for cooking. In this bottle, I keep soap, but there's a lot of water mixed with the soap. So it's a very watery soap. If you have concentrated soap in there, it's going to take you a lot, a lot of water to rinse your hands. You want to have very watery soap in there. It's as watery as it can be, you can tolerate. Remember, you can also, after you wash your hands, if you're still not confident with it, you can also hit yourself with some vinegar. So vinegar is another thing that I like to keep here. Let me keep this up because I'm going to keep be using this. So my aquava and my vinegar are here. So those are the two options for that. And I'll show you how I do that. These are the rags that I like. These are also, I think these are also by the aquava people. They're really good because when you um, all the all the food particles come out. I'm pumping my aqua bar, as you can see, getting it ready, and I am going to wash. Let's, so let's say I just washed. You know, I have the chicken plate over here, and I have some other plates from dinner here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these dishes first, and. I'm going to use my soap over here, which is a very watery soap. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to rinse. I already soaked this up, but that's rinsed off. Now I'm going to take, now I'm done washing all my dishes. So now everything is drying over here. Now I take my stuff and I take the water from here and I clean everything with it. The soapy water here, see? And I can also take this and clean this with it, okay? So you can see there's not a lot of water in this pan. By the way, I do have a dish pan down there because if, when the water drains, I have a dish pan underneath that collection there. So here it is, that's it. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to rinse off my, the fork and this. It's got soap, it was washed, no problem. I didn't have to get my hands dirty, nothing like that. When I put the dishes away, I will take a paper towel or you can take a rag, put a little vinegar on the rag and just wipe it down if you feel like you don't think it's clean. I don't necessarily worry. I know that mine is clean because this taco bot does a good job rinsing everything off. So then I just put it here in the dish pan, okay? So this water now has chicken in it i would throw this out and this i would definitely rinse it this would probably be my last wash of the day because a lot of this water that i used at breakfast time if it wasn't really dirty or lunch time i could use it for the dinner plates i just keep washing and leaving water there so when by the time i get to the evening to wash i have water already in there so i'm not really using fresh water but at the end of the day i will take my aquabot or if you have a container of water or something like that. I could also use this little thing here and that will also give me some water. Just rinse this really well. There we go. So this is already rinsed and I can just hang it here for tomorrow. This glass jar is great for if you have to wash your hands if you're cooking and you need a little bit of water for your hands. It's great to have something like this because sometimes it's hard with one hand to do. So if you need two hands you can do a little bit of this, which is great. There's a dish pan down there. So tomorrow, if that water is gets down there, I'm going to throw that water out. Set up so I put my walk about bat. I have my vinegar there for the morning. Now I just take my dish pan full of the chicken water and I take it outside and I throw it outside. And um, I'm just going to throw it out here. No big deal. And normally what I would do is I would just like wipe that down and rinse it 
off. If I had water, I don't have a lot of water right now. So I would get a paper towel and I would wipe this down with the vinegar. Or you can also take a little bit of bleach. If you felt compelled to, you can put a drop of bleach in there and just take a paper towel or a rag and just, you know, clean it off. So that's what I would do. So I just take some vinegar and I just wipe that down. And this is the one with the chicken. So if you want to throw out the paper towel, leave the chicken one for last and put vinegar on all the other ones that are first and then the chicken one last so then you can just throw out the paper towel okay look how easy that was to clean that plate because no grooves in there like a lot of these plastic chopping boards i bought this at um, ikea so if i had those big um trash cans full of water i can pull that up bring it over here and fill my picture with that. I don't have to bring the picture outside if I don't want to. So this is another thing that's good to have. So, okay, this morning I wanna show you how to brush your teeth. So here we go. All right, the first thing is toothbrush, toothpaste. Um, I have Christian's toothpaste here, so I'm gonna use very little. You don't wanna use the same amount that you use toothbrush when you have a lot of water because this is really foamy. This stuff is foamy. I buy a toothbrush from Walmart, it's called Equate, and it's like a copy of the natural stuff. I forgot the name of it. And that has really little foam. And that's what I use on the road because I don't want a lot of foam from toothpaste because then I have to use more water to rinse off my mouth. So I'm gonna use very little bit of this. Keep that amount, see, that's very little. And then I'm just going to take the toothbrush and I'm just going to, so that's probably a lot. I'm just gonna take off a little bit. I just want like that much. I put water in here. I'm just gonna get some water and I'm gonna wet my toothbrush. You saw how very little comes out of that. Since filming this video, I purchased another jar for the bathroom so I can wash my hands and brush my teeth with a little bit more pressure than the other type of bottle. I'm gonna brush my teeth. You don't want a lot of foam in your mouth. All right, I'm done with that. And that's how easy it is to brush your teeth with very little water. This is a little shot glass that I have because I don't do shots in my house. But using my truck camper is the lid from a big of uh, one of the um, Listerine bottles or mouthwash bottles from the dollar store. I use the lid as my cup to rinse off with. And this one, I'll look for a bottle that has a bigger uh, opening than this one. This one's very narrow so a lot of water doesn't come through there reuse like shampoo bottles with pumps and then save it i just did that yesterday because i grabbed the stuff from my truck camper to bring in here and then i'm like no i want to have stuff here i want to have stuff in my truck camper and i want to have stuff in the house for emergency so i have three sets in my truck camper i'm already ready to go i got my stuff so i don't want to be bringing things back and forth because when i travel i'm gonna end up forgetting something so i have everything here so but this works fine it's just too narrow so try to get something that has a bigger hole that pumps with a bigger hole shampoo bottles are great conditioner bottles are great so then what i do is i take this little container and i just throw it outside that's all that i do and sometimes if i have leftover water from my dishes so i'm going to show you now so last night i washed dishes Sometimes I'll have the drain water left over from the night before. I can throw it in there and I push my dish rack back. And then whatever water I have left over from the dishes the night before, I can pour it in here, as you can see, and that will rinse off that soapy toothpaste that's in there. And all I have to do is throw this outside. And if you have a plant or any plants like nearby, you can, just do that, give it to the plants. They love this stuff. There we go. This step that I just showed you, I don't do this in the truck camper. <laughs> what I do is I pour this in my thermos where I pee, just pour it in there. And that way when I throw everything outside, it's all going out at the same time. So that's what I do. It works really well and nobody's gonna be the wiser and my teeth are clean. By the way, guys, just so you know, 
you should brush for two minutes here's an extra tip for you ladies if you need to put this on the toilet lid and pee into something like this because you're the kind of person that can't pee into a jar or a cup try one of these you can get these at the dollar store in the gardening section they're nice and wide you can fit these between your legs it's got a handle and you'll be able to pee in there especially if you're the type of woman who has no control of your bladder when you're peeing thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell don't forget to leave your comments down below Ooh. it's a fall in the sleep. yeah that looks comfortable what's this stickers get yours by going to the description box below